Well, hello there. We're going to be playing football game on the PlayStation 4. Although it looks like it's a old school game, I can assure you that it's a new school game set in a school. And why is it flickering like that? Well, I'm pretty sure that that's supposed to do that. Those beers were strong. I dozed off. I need to get ready to meet Susie. I better get rid of those bottles before Mom sees them. Press Use button to interact with Tommy's world. Press examine button on things to observe Tommy's world. Inventory items can be seen by moving your cursor to the top of the screen. Some items can be combined. P press the use button to continue. These are all the old photos of Susie and I. This one is one of my favorites. It's Susie and I at Tremon Dam Lake, our special spot. We've had a lot of good times there. Susie's friend Norma took this picture. the lake. Oops. How <laughs> is it the same photo? Okay, well, we've had a look around and seen what items are available. So, obviously we have to clean out these bottles before Mum sees them. New item, empty bottles. So, obviously we've got to chuck them in the bin. So up here you'll see the items and we'll just combine those with the trash can we removed the evidence mum won't suspect a thing I need to shave Susie hates it when I have a stubble on my face
Don't take him my face, Tommy. Be nice, shave next time, please. <laughs> I should stop doing that, but I'm not going to. I'm sorry, Susie. It's just that, well, I am a man after all. Ha! Huh, you're a boy. A stinky boy who doesn't know how to look after himself. But you love me. Well... I do love you. The past one. <laughs> she doesn't like stubble. There's mom. Hey, mom! Oh, darling, did you have a good nap? Well, sure, mom. Say, you're looking nice. You shaved. You must be making an effort for someone. Don't be silly, mom. I'm just heading off to the game. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Your dad is going to be home soon. He will need the car. Mom! And is that alcohol I smell on your breath? Uh. <laughs> no, Mom. Tommy, darling. We've been through this. But I didn't drink a thing. Now, I know that's not true. <sighs> I won't do it again. You tell that to your dad. So I can't take the car? What do you think, sunshine? You are not going to be th the game tonight. You've been drinking. Mom! You heard me. Now let me get on with these dishes. I need to get to the game. Susie's waiting for me. My mum loves her world's best mum mug. New item, mug. Hmm. Ooh. Cup of tea. I've taken a tea bag. It's herbal tea. Mum's favorite. Yeah, I said herbal, right? Americans say herbal, we say herbal. You guys are weird. New item, tea bag. <laughs> Can I get through a game without tea bag? No. We gotta tea bag everything. Hmm. Is there a kettle we can use? Hmm. Well, we gotta maybe put the, the uh, tea bag into the mug. I put the tea bag into the mug. I literally just said that. made a steaming hot tea.
Barista! <laughs> Mum's favourite brew. Here, Mum. You should take a rest. Oh, darling, my favourite mug. A nice warm tea. You really are the best, Tommy. I love you. I love you too, Mum. I mean, Mom. I'm going to sit down for a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm terrible, but... <laughs> there's no sound and I've got no... patience. I have to make my own fun. Okay, well... I guess we gotta go out. Oh, it's cold outside, better take that, eh? What do we have here? It's the keys for the car. Yoink! Did he drug her? I think he drugged her. Huh. Generic cricket sound. I heard that in one in Resident Evil. I need to get to the game. Nice car. What model that is. To me, it just looks like a falcon. <coughs> oh, I keyed the car. Ooh, what's this? How can I forget Susie's gift? I think I left it under my bed. Well, that was stupid, wasn't it? <sighs> well, I guess I gotta go back to the bedroom. I forgot my present, Mom. I hope she didn't notice my voice is cracked. It's gone a bit deeper. Now, where is that present? I mean, where is that present? Hmm. It's not there! I don't understand. I'm sure I hid the box here earlier. Don't look at me, I didn't take it. Mom! She must have found it. I bet it's in her room. Ooh. Complications, complications. Hey, Mom! I don't want to talk to her. <laughs> nope. Just go forward. Garage doors lock the keys with the car keys. Huh. 
<laughs> a bit of sound issues there. Alright, uh, tell what we got in here. We got a hammer. Well, we could use that. Dad's old hammer. Could be useful. Well, I just said that. And... What else is there around here? Oh, there's some rope. You can always use rope. Hmm, you can never have enough rope. See, this guy thinks just like me. Boy, Tommy, it sure is a Rick. I forgot the voice. I know, Dad keeps saying he's gonna fix it. I guess I'm too old for trees houses anyway. Are you hot, Tommy? Think of the fun we can have in there. <laughs> Susie Cooper, you are my girl. You know it. Dad, come fix the treehouse, please. <laughs> the past two backyard delights. Well, we need to get into that tree, so this get up there. That's not going to support my weight. The other end of the rope is completely loose. Well, that's not my problem, is it? <sighs> this looks like fun. Why'd you stop, man? You tired? Keep going. There we go. Now we've done that. You are going to go around through the rope. Maybe I could tie the other end. To of the rope to something. Well, maybe you can tie it to this. I've tied the rope to the concrete block. It should support my weight now. We call them Besser bricks. When people steal cars, they put them on top of them and then they take the tires and they strip them and that's the end of your car. Well, I suppose we can climb this rope now. Ooh, it's a, among the leaves now. First time I've been up here in a while. Okay, uh... Ooh, can we do that? Hey, that's not gonna help. You get in there. Okay, we can't do that. Mm. To get access to pipe, I have to get these nails out and remove the wooden shutters. Oh, okay, there's a shuttered window here. Easy, I 
can get to the pipe now. Uh, wait. Alright, so the pipe is here. Hmm, this could work. Not if it can't support your weight, can't. I used to climb up this roof when I was a little kid. Hopefully I'm not too big now. See? I think he's too fat. He might fall to his death and that's the end of the game. Oh, I had to have a drink. That it's hurt my throat. Oh, I see. Okay, we're on the roof. Hope we don't fall through it. Go down. <laughs> All right, we're in Mummy's room. Did they say Mommy? Did they just say Mummy? Susie unfolded. <laughs> Mum ruined a good photograph. Uh. It's here. Well, that beach. She stole it. We should go downstairs and hit her on the head with a hammer. That's very tempting to do with a hammer. Let's get some music on. Ooh, a blue one. And a red one. Money to that too. And we'll get the old cassette. That's what we used to listen to when we were young. You kids have no idea. Awesome, man.
Tommy! Yeah, that's the voice we'll give him. Hey, Rex! You can tell it's Tommy because he's got tea on him. Haven't seen you in a while. Around here for a while. <laughs> I wouldn't miss the big game. Seen Susie? Susie Cooper? Yeah. Not tonight. You two are still going steady. Oh, well, that strains my voice. Maybe I'll edit this video later. You bet. You like a son of a bitch. Excuse me, have you seen Susie here tonight? Well, that was a weird voice. I guess we'll have to speak to Shannon now. Sorry to interrupt. Have you seen Susie around? Well, these girls are just weird. Yeah, I'm looking for her. I'm so sorry if you can't put up with this. <laughs> I really am bored. And what voice are we going to give Tammy? Have you seen Susie Cooper around here tonight? Oh no. No, no, no. I haven't seen her. You sure? Oh, I'm sure. I heard you two used to make out under the bleachers. Them. I forgot the voice, sorry. Let's talk to Mr. Mahoney. Oh, I'm not supposed to know that yet. Mr. Mahoney. Excuse me, Mr. Mahoney. Yes? Have you seen Susie Cooper tonight? Susie Cooper? Susie Cooper. Can't you kids keep track of one another? It's just that I'm supposed to be meeting her tonight. Well, if you keep looking, I'm afraid I have not seen the girl. Thanks, Mr. Mahoney. Hey, Tommy, are you sure you should be here? <laughs> huh? A Kevin. I hate Kevin. There's always a Kevin. Kevin. Oh, hi, Tommy. Long time no see. Have you seen Susie around? Susie? You're still going out with her? You know, he sounds exactly like the guy outside the gate. Yeah, have you seen her? Sorry, dude. No sign. She's hard to miss. Is he calling her fat? Why don't you ask Scott? Like, that's not Scott. That's Steve. Hey, Steve. Have you seen Susie around? Oh, sorry, Tommy. I haven't seen her. Ha <laughs> ha! 
A cheerleader. Mmm. Uh, okay, we, we looked at her. Did we, did we actually speak to her? No? Okay, so he just perps at her. I guess that counts as speaking. I'm gonna forget all those voices. I've walked in a circle around the entire ground. I can't find Susie anywhere. Well, she ain't in the box, man. I wanna give her this before the game starts. Hmm, wonder what's in there. Where's Susie? I can't find her. Oh wait, which one's it? Hi Tommy, don't be anxious. Uh -uh. I, uh, I just need to keep clear ahead after what happened. Come on, he'd be proud of you leading the team. And Coach Funkhauser, he's relying on you. It's dot dot dot, it's just been a while. Hey, you know what? What? You're my hero. Those two lovebirds are all over each other. That, the past three. That bitch needs to keep him, you know, nose out of other people's businesses. <sighs> that was the usual meeting spot. Which one is this, Steve? Well, I guess that's the person I need to talk to. Uh, hey, Tommy. Hey, Jesse, have you seen Susie tonight? Susie Cooper? Of course, my Susie. I saw it just now. Why does his voice keep changing? Really? Where did she say she'd go? Uh, I'll tell you. See, I told ya. Go on. 
But first, I'd like to tell you to do a little, be a little favor. Then I will tell you to do exactly where she is. So I just muddled it up. Are you kidding me? Just tell me, Jesse. Now he just sounds like static. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. I'll get you to your gal. But first, a little favor for your pal Jesse. He, now he sounds like the hero. Jesus. Jesse. Just get on with it. You know Todd? Todd Howard? Todd Masters? The very man. The very douche. What does this have to do with Todd Masters? Well, your old teammate rattled me out to Principal Marcus last week. Said I was smelling, selling booze to the freshmen. At were you? Besides, the point. I need my revenge. My wrist is still aching from writing all those lines of detention. Yeah, right. I bet that's not the only thing your wrist is aching from. <laughs> he, he thinks exactly like me. See? That's what... That's the kind of humor I expect from the jerks like Todd. Not Mr. MVP Superstar of the Purchase County, Tommy Taylor. Sorry, Jesse. You set him up and I hit him out of the park. Leave your stupid comments in your pocket next time. Anyway, I want you to get me Todd's lucky charm. It's a signed photo. You in? <sighs> well, I... You know what? Yeah, okay. Okay. Good choice. It'll be a piece of cake. Now he's used that one four times. So what do you want to do from me? Oh wait, so what do you want me to do again? It's Todd. Signed photo of football legend Gordy Tillman. His lucky charm. Where can I find the photo? Todd keeps it in his locker in the changing room. You can just go in and get it. Hmm. Mm hmm. 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 Okay. Bye for now. Is this supposed to be like cut off on the end here? Because it is for me. Bye for now. You know what the phone is. Alright. aren't sick of me they're still here watching me they've obviously got nothing better to do um, let's see yes I am reading a walkthrough it's no secret
Go back to the room under the stairs and speak to the boy. There are two boys and a girl. Maybe it's this one. Please be this one. Hey! What do you want? Um. Erm? 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 Have you guys seen Susie Cooper? We normally meet in here with our friends. Oh man, what voice is that? Oh, you know what? I don't know Susie Cooper, man. She's one of our popular girls, ain't seen her. Who are you? Tommy Taylor. THE Tommy Taylor? Yeah. Surprised to see you here after everything. That I've heard. You got any cigarettes? Don't smoke, kids. No. Linda here smoked the whole... F I'm not reading that. The whole damn packet. Screw you! Don't smoke, kids, and don't swear. Water on the floor, and those guys are totally making out. They might be sweet home Alabama. See, I don't have to say it, I just gotta say that, and people know what I'm talking about. A quarter, or for us other people, that's 25 cents. <clears throat> this the unit Ooh, is that a red button <gasps> you know how I get when I see red buttons I, I get all um I get all giddy I, I just have to push that button oh it fell off I guess I'll take these D cells Mr. Mahoney. Hey, I mean, hi, Mr. Mahoney. What do you want now, Tommy? Is that the voice I gave? You know what? <laughs> I give up doing the voices. They're stupid. I thought it'd be funny, but now that I think about it, it's not really funny. Hey, Tommy, what do you want now? Um, you guys might not even get to see this video, I might even make it private and not show anybody and they'll never see it again. How do you like that? Uh, why are you guarding the door? The changing rooms are for players only tonight, you know that. But, Coach Funkenhauser's orders. Besides, someone needs to keep an eye out on you reefer smokers. Don't smoke, kids. Can't stress that enough. I don't smoke, sir. Well, that's a plus for you. Nothing I hate more than stench of cigarette smoke. Good on you, mate. Bye. Oh 
gonna buy a drink. <clears throat> Get the can of soda. We just call it a soft drink. Here in America, you call it soda. You call sarsaparilla root beer. Which is pretty silly. Ginger ale could be a root beer. No, don't talk to him. <clears throat> oh, we're going to use the keys. Maybe I should go check Susie's house. Perhaps she's still there. Marty McFly's girlfriend was called Susie, I think. Susie Parker. And then they change it to Jennifer. We'll use the blue tape this time. The art style is really good. Music fan. Kind of looks like a Monaro. Well, I've played both tapes. No time lying in that music's not going to give me a copyright strike, is it? Knock on the door and run away. Tee <laughs> Oh, is anyone home? Who is it? You'll have to come back later, I'm doing the dishes. I'm sorry, I just need a bit more time, okay? Ooh. But Susie, I love you. You can't do this. Please, Tommy, let it go. Guess he'll be using the hand tonight. The pass four. Well, I guess I should head back to the game. She has to be there. Give up, man. She probably left you. That's literally how you start the car. You gotta put the cassette. We'll just cut that short for peace and reasons. Here, speak to Jay. Jeff. Hey, Jeff! <coughs> Jeez, Tommy. Sorry to cough in your face. You okay? Smoked way too much last night. My throat's on fire. Don't smoke, kids. Haven't seen you in a long time. How's things? Oh, fine. Well, you're looking better. <coughs> Well, ask him if he smokes. You smoke? Yeah, a bit too much. Where do you buy your cigarettes? You shouldn't buy cigarettes. Oh, I know a guy. He stood right over there. 
Rex sells you cigarettes? Ha ha! No, not Rex over there leaning against the wall. Black jacket. Oh, that guy. His name is Danny, and he's a scary bastard. But he's always had a pack or three on offer. Bye. See you around, Tommy. Like a donut. What does it say? Uh, go past the entrance. Well, that looks like a uh, a scary bastard. Bribe him with some money. Oh, we could just knock him out and take this. You know what? We don't need cigarettes. You shouldn't smoke cigarettes, kids. It's really bad for you. Cost you too much money. Buy video games instead. Here's a 20. Well, looky what. Here. One pack right here for you. Pretty boy. Oh. You don't come back now, you hear? Should've given him an Elvis voice. We don't come back now, you hear? Obviously don't like return business. How long game so far? I suppose if I wasn't talking and being silly and ruining it, it'd be enjoyable, but to tell you the truth, it's actually quite boring. There's no real soundtrack, but you gotta think that this is a replica of maybe like a Commodore 64 game, and trying to process graphics as well as music on the SID chip, you know, wasn't wasn't very doable back then due to processing power. Uh, okay, so go back to the room of the stairs. It says give the cigarettes to the boy. I'm telling you, he needs a lighter. We should have bought a lighter. Why did you buy a lighter? Why can't we just use the battery or something? Are these the ciggies? Here. Wow, Tommy. You giving us the whole pack? Go for it. You're not so bad after all. It's a shame Linda lost the lighter. Fire out, man. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> I'm not going there. We got cigarettes, but no lighter. What a conundrum. Um. Jeff. Where was Jeff? Is that Jeff? That's Kevin. Mahoney? It's gotta be Mahoney. Nah, you know, I think Jeff was right up the other end. Is that Jeff? That's Jesse. Hang on. Where was 
Jeff. Shame you can't double tap to instantly go down. Maybe Jeff's outside, like literally outside. Could ask Mr. Mahoney, he's probably got. S oh, wait, no, he doesn't smoke, does he? What's going on? Why can't I exit? Locked. I think something's wrong. Yeah, because there's something wrong with the screen. Not my screen, but the game. It's it's not drawing the extra bits, so it's weird. It's a boy. Oh, it's Jeff. Jeff has a lighter, apparently. It's his... Oh. <laughs> hey, Jeff. Hey, Tommy. Do you have a lighter? I do. Can I borrow it? Trade you for it. Can I just borrow it? Tommy, this is a nice lighter. I'll make him sound like that guy at a kick of the hill. Trade me for something that i let you borrow it. That sounds nothing like him. <coughs> well, do you, what do you want? Surprise me. We could, oh, for Pete's sake, I'm getting tired of running around with errands and trading favors. Why can't he just let me borrow it? bit of bad language there. Yeah, he might want the can of coke. I'll give you this sooner. Will you let me borrow the ladder? You bet. That's just what I need. I hope he gives it back. We're gonna get that 10 cents. You know what? Let's not give the ladder back to him. We'll keep it. Go back to the stairs. Okay, and then give the light her to the boy, which here's your lighter. Don't smoke, kids. Can't say that enough. So, what does this do? Okay, and what? We gotta put the batteries back in? Why are we putting batteries back in the slot? Oh, is this a smoke detector? Or, oh, directional, it might blow the smoke outside. Maybe use that to get people in trouble, I don't know, let's have a look. Benjamin in there, click both the power switch and the directional switch. Okay. To the right, and then leave the room. Speak to Mr. Mahoney. Are we gonna snitch? Hey, Mr. Mahoney. 
What do you want? Yeah, Tommy. There are kids smoking under the bleachers! Exclamation point. <gasps> Whoa. We scared him. He couldn't handle it. He was like, oh my god. We're doomed. He ran away. <laughs> well, at least we can go into the changing rooms now. Distracted entry. All right, you made it back into the changing rooms. Should I? No. We need to go into this room right here. The desk. Open the, the top drawer. It's always the top drawer, isn't it? Looks like a handcuff key. Shut up, dog. Locked. Just close the damn door. Oh, it closed anyway. <laughs> She's got this habit of, you know, putting stuff back the way I found it in case someone sees it. Okay, leave the disc and then use the small key on the filing cabinet. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Does look like a handcuff key, doesn't it? Alright, so. T Masters. Todd Masters. Born January, uh, February. Because, you know, Americans have their dates around the wrong way because they're idiots. February the 6th, 1971. Locker number 4. Remarks. Bullying tendencies. Be strict on him, elder brother. Joseph was part of all state champ team back in 1976. Todd idolizes his brother. Well, none of us idolize Todd. That's for sure, if you know what I mean, Mr. Howard. Can't believe I'm insulting another person <laughs> for another game. What? Well, man, I hate Todd Howard. Don't get me started. Leave the boys' office. Go to locker room. Okay. Oh, it's a G. Oh, boy. I'm guessing this is locker number four because it's the fourth locker and it's literally labelled fourth locker. Okay. This is the one. Now, this is going to be a complete guess, but I'm thinking that maybe the code is 6676. It's not like I'm losing a walk or anything. No big secret there. Get a bit too uh, excited there. Was that it? 6676. Six, did I do something wrong? I did. Whoops. I did 6766. Six, six. It's, it's actually 6676. Six, Oh, we better take that picture. Just because uh, I felt like it. Is 
That must have been his brother. if Jesse would want this picture. Mm. Here it is. Thanks, Tommy. So, you gonna tell me where Susie is? Wait, what's he gonna do with the picture? Right there. Better not be. What? Right there, behind you. Made you look. Is this some kind of joke? Hey, I'm a man of my word. She's just through that door. All the cool kids hanging out there these days. I saw her go in. The whole time she's been right there. Why the heck couldn't you just tell me? Don't shoot the message, Tommy. Tom. What was that all about? <laughs> Crummy Tom. I can see why that voice actor quit his job or stopped doing my Dr. Marvin Monroe in The Simpsons. Just heard his voice. It's gonna come a time where Marge Simpson's character uh, actor won't be able to do Marge's voice. It's gonna be a sad day. It's locked, you liar! Tommy. There's a special knock. Better not be shaving a haircut. Do it like knock 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 big knock. Sigh. For your sake, Jesse. She better be in there. I'm losing my patience. And I'm us losing my viewers. Come in! This just looks like that other room where all the kids were smoking. They're just reusing assets. Look, there's the button. We're not supposed to know that. But it's there. Susie? Tommy, what are you doing in here? I'm look looking for Susie. Oh. Is this a betrayal? I just... I... Dot dot dot. I feel bad for him. He's been through a lot. Is she cheating? Hey, yeah, babe. That may be the case. But that doesn't justify what he did to the team. Hey, where well, someone's watching. You just can't let him call you anymore. We're together now. The past six. The betrayal. What the heck are you doing here? Why are you looking for Susie? I dot dot dot. Yeah. 
He's going home to cry. That's what he's going to do. What is happening? Question mark. Well, it looks like we're back home. Let's hope Mum was doing the is doing the dishes. Yeah, you know, can't have a tea break forever. Oh, okay, that door now goes into the bedroom. Is it the bedroom? No, it's the lounge room. Um Oops. Hey, what are you doing with that? This is going too far, Tom. You need to stop this now. Oh, what a bitch. Okay, so we're going to the creepy forest. Forest. Why do they pronounce it forest? My name's Forest Forest Goom. It's forest. Forest. Mirror, some kind of experiment. Well, better speak to Michael Jackson here. Hello, hello, young man. How can I help you today? He kind of looks like he would have that voice. I would like to buy a piece of jewelry for my girlfriend. That's oh, a jewelry shop. Sir, you are in the right place. How much money are we looking to spend today? Oh, it might have been a ring. I have a hundred bucks. I've been saving for months. Why didn't you buy a CD player, man? Well, she must be a very special girl! Exclamation! <laughs> Back in the forest. Oh, that's that's a pretty cool effect. They call that parallaxing or something. We have some beautiful rings and necklaces. Hyphen, feel free to have a browse and don't hesitate to ask me any questions! Exclamation! S for Susie. So it was a necklace. That's the one. Susie will love it. Excuse me. How can I help? How much is this S necklace? Ah, that's from, um, 
Ah, oh, series. I think that means love. A lovely choice. Sure to please your sweetheart. Exclamation. It's 89.99. That's pretty cheap, man. We take cash or check. Or F boss. I'll take it. Is she even gonna be there? Is he gonna turn into a werewolf? I have something for you. Oh, Tammy, what is it? Here. I recognize that music from the trailer. It's kind of what made me buy the game. It's the music. My dog. We're gonna get japped, I know it. No. Are you sure? It's a terrier. I haven't seen any dogs, sir. No. Oh. I thought he was gonna mug us. you wearing that? I don't understand. You're still wearing the necklace. See? I love you, Susie. Why do you look at me this way? Tommy, please! Exclamation! Domain sound effects, I knew that. But David Kane, wasn't he one of the old old Commodore 64 guys? This game's a couple of years old. Well there you go. Well, I hope you made it through. I hope you put up my crap. I just had to get this game finished and off the list. Bye.